Up next today is going to be a comparison. I really don't like bumping pens. This is difficult to do when you're holding a uh, phone and ink pen and filming all at the same time. That's why I typically mount it, the phone up. Um, but I'm going to compare the Heritage Custom 912 Music Nib over to some Mont Blanc Pelican and other pens and talk about why I constantly grab for this pen. Did you think I forgot? Because I didn't. The yellow Crocs. They're there. And here we go. Okay, what's the pen? That's probably the um, the most specific question that we need to ask. Today we're going to talk about a Heritage Custom 912. In specific, we'll talk about a Heritage Custom 912 music nib. There is no question. The fit and finish of this pen is spectacular. I've mentioned this in multiple other videos. <clears throat> there are some people who try and defend uh, other pen manufacturers out there as being um, some better than others, and then others that try and elevate the quality of the pen that they're talking about uh, to this level. And there is no question, this, this leaves a lasting impression when you have it in your hand. Uh, some of these other ones that I've heard people talk about do not. And then there are other pens that are like a heritage style pen. You pass this on from generation to generation. They're that amazing, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. Uh, one of the things that you can't do with some of the other pens is you can't get this caliber, this quality at this price. You literally have to like double or triple the price to get to this same uh, fit, finish, and feel. So there's one of the places where Pilot is an amazing value for your money. I do love that. Um, as far as quality of the pen, you know, the old term of precious resin. Here's a take a look right down the body of this. So you can see the blue translucency right down here at the very bottom. And if we were to tip it up, you can see the, the red translucence up here. Um, it's almost a purplish red on a pilot. Uh, so anticipate that. I know when I first got it and I saw the blue, I was like, oh, that's different, but it's still translucent, so okay. And again, I was um, quite a bit less into the uh, ink pen game at that moment, but the fact that it was blue and then transitioned into kind of a purplish red, um, that was interesting to me. Uh, but I'll, I will say, there is no question. Um, the fit and finish of these is great. Uh, I do love this pen. I grab for it all the time. Um, as far as the metal that they're using, uh, it is a gold nib. Um, and so one of the things that a lot of the newer people into the hobby hate to see is the ink creep uh, or dribble on your nib. That is something that genuinely does not uh, often go away. So I'll show you just as an example, you can wipe this pretty much clean. Um, it's not something that would uh, necessarily come immediately back on you, but there's no question uh, at a later point, I'm gonna see this and you've also got the possibility of getting that all over you. So um, watch out for inky fingers. You're gonna get them uh, one way or the other. So. Back to what this is made out of. This is zoomed in. Let me go ahead and change the uh, focal point there. You can see right there the MS, uh, that stands for the music nib. Uh, it is a pilot. It is a 14K gold nib. And then it's got a rhodium tip uh, or covering all over it. Um, I believe that goes for all of the metal as far as the coating. But I'm not certain of that, so don't quote me on it. As a matter of fact, comment if I'm wrong. I don't mind that. I like learning, and I haven't really dug into it that far because genuinely, I didn't care. What I cared is this nib writes spectacular. The underside has a very unique flat area that you write with, so there's almost no possibility of, of um, baby's bottom. But again, it is... Um, a triple time, and you can see right there, uh, you certainly see it right there, 
all three tines um, that spread very nicely to write. Um, it is embossed very, very nice. There is no breather hole on the top of this nib, um, but that's okay. Some of the other features are gonna be things like um, the converter. So I don't love the converter and almost all the other ones that I've seen have a chrome, gold, iridium, whatever top right here. Um, again, I bought this at a very uh, respectable high-end dealer in DC. Um, so I know it came legit with the converter it was supposed to come with. I know it's the, the correct style of converter. It holds a reasonable amount of ink. I'm not going to go into the milliliters. You can look that up. Um, but it's, it's reasonable. It doesn't ever leave me disappointed. I don't run out before I would anticipate like, I, uh, like people talk about with, for instance, the vanishing points. Um, I don't have any situation like that. Oh, there's a nice feature I've never even looked at before, but there's a nice little gasket right there so that when you close this, if anything were to happen, it seals the ink inside of here. Great feature. Maybe you could turn it into an eyedropper. I'm never going to. Um, I don't want that mess, but to each his own, that's for sure. Um, the finial, there's something that is lacking on it. There is no real finial to speak of. It is just a flat top. Some people really, really, really much prefer the dome tops, uh, somewhat in line with the Sailors and the Mont Blancs that are out there. I like that this separates itself. It has nice banding. Uh, the inscription in the banding is definitely very nice, very high quality, very legible. Uh, They're very big on, you can read that Japan <laughs> well. Um, so instead of it just being um, embossed and then uh, the same like monotone, they fill it in with black. You can read what it says. I like the sword style clip. Um, I really am not a lover of the traditional pilot. It says pilot down the center. Uh, comes down to a big honking ball at the end there. That's not my bag. Um, to each his own. If you love that, go for it. That's that's completely your call. Um, but it just it's it's not me. Um, I don't know um, why I don't like it, but it doesn't matter. That's why they make chocolate and vanilla. I've mentioned that before. You know, if you really like that style, then go with the model because they make a, uh, a music nib in that style pen also, uh, go with it. If you don't, then then go with this. Um, but I will say I've held at this point a couple different um, pilots. Their lower end models in the $150 range, they are just not constructed um, with this same heritage feel uh, that these upper end models are. It is an exceptionally nice pen, very impressed with it. Um, it writes beautifully. I'll show you a little bit of writing so you can have some, some semblance of what I'm talking about. You can potentially watch the, the tines. Um, but hands down, it's, uh, it is one of my go-to pens. Uh, my wife personally prefers when I write with this. Uh, there is definitely shading that looks better. Uh, the pen feels better. I like it. It is fantastic. Uh, a simple thank you. Okay, I remained quiet. Hopefully you can see, or I should say hear, some of the feedback that this nip does have while writing. Um, it is scratchier to some, um, but I don't mind it in any way, shape, or form. See, it does not go very thin uh, when you're trying to do um, line variation like that, but there is no question. It is very thin. And uh, it has very reasonable line variation. Huge fan. Uh, you'll never see any of this railroading under normal use. Most likely from sopping as much ink out of the nib as I did before uh, continuing back to use it. That's probably going to be one of the issues, but 
either which way, I never see a seeing a railroading. I can write two pages nonstop, even fairly fast writing, uh, and never see any uh, problems with this. Ha, <laughs> that's hilarious. You can already see the, the creep back in the pen. As soon as I go ahead and, and throw some line variation, you see that. Just out of curiosity, I don't know that I've ever done this. Here's the back side. Oh. Well, I have no idea why you would ever be driven to want to do that, but you can write with the back of it also. Hands down, um, my favorite pilot by far, and a pen that even though I have a uh, 13 or 14 month long laying around, I've got a handful, three or four uh, Pelicans laying around, um, I grab for this multiple times a week. I grab for this pen over other pens. Uh, it looks beautiful with blue uh, ink and it's a real winner in my opinion. I, If I ever see one of these at a reasonable price used, I will be grabbing that in a heartbeat just so I can have an additional color ink going at the same time. Pilot, you knocked it out of the park. Great job. Do something about the, fa the Falcon. It's it's a tragedy in comparison.